Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Karshina with First Films Productions and we're doing Kill Counts. That's right, we're killing the competition with a three-part series of doing Kill Counts in our favorite horror film. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get this kill count started with The Cabin in the Woods. When we mean kill count, we mean kill count. That's right, we mean business. So The Cabin in the Woods, one of our favorite horror films, has got a great kill count that I just cannot believe the writers came up with so many good ones. And, and we have a list. So give me a moment while I read down the list and let me know which one is your favorite kill. So this is why this is going to be a little bit longer than expected, but I guarantee you the laughs are going to be there as well. And so are the kills. So let's go ahead with the first kill, which is Jules. Yes, the hottie hottie Jules. She gets killed in the woods. Yes, when she's doing the womp chicka womp womp with Yes, that's right. Womp chicka womp womp Kurt. And they're getting it on and, you know, cue the pheromone mists, you know, and all the guys are like, oh, show it, baby. Show it, baby. Um, but then all of a sudden, boom, the Buckners give her the knife in the hand, bear trap down, uh, thrown in the back, and then she's decapitated with a two-man saw. Done. Kill count. Awesome. Then we got Kurt. Kurt is basically crushed into a camouflage force field that's surrounding this experimental cabin in the woods. Um, so technically it was himself that killed himself, sort of, kind of, or was it really the technicians that really killed him because they built this force field? I'm just going to say it was him because not only did he try for himself, you know, to get away, like I'm going to run away and find help and bring guns and do everything I can, you know, whatever. Well, no, it didn't happen, Kurt. Sorry. I mean, the jock that he was and the brains that he was, he really thought that he can get away, but unbeknownst to him and unbeknownst to everybody else, there was a camouflage surrounding the, the camp and that was done for you. So, so sorry about that. Uh, then we got Holden. Holden being the cute and the decent guy, the movie, which I love. He was impaled through the neck while driving away the RV, trying to get the heck out of Dodge. And unfortunately, that is how he went. I mean, now the neck kind of reminds you of sort of the Friday the 13th with Kevin Bacon, when you had like the knife like go through his neck, except for this one while he's driving. Yeah, pretty sad. And that was by Father Buckner. Then we've got one of the security officers. He was pinned to the elevator uh, and that was by Marty. Marty basically shanked him while he was basically in the elevator. You see the hand sort of like going by. You're done for the elevator. Then it was 31 security officers. So are you with me yet? 31 security officers and they were killed by the dragon bat, an angry molesting tree, zombies. Of course, you're going to get it with the zombies. Dismemberment goblins. Then you had the giant snake, killer robot, the witch, and a werewolf. Yes. Some of these deaths weren't shown, but we all know all of those officers were done and it was spectacular. Then we move on to some of the technicians. Yes, the technicians. Some of the technicians were eaten alive by the giant snake. Some technicians uh, had the stomach cut open uh, by the doctors. Yes, that was a really cool scene. You had like these normal looking doctors, but yet they're doing their surgery by cutting the technicians alive. That was kudos to you. Uh, then you got the female security officer. Uh, she was shot in the head with her own handgun. Uh, so it was herself. She was like, I'm out. I I'm out of this situation. Like, I'm not going to have anyone take me out. I'm going to take myself out. So sad for her. You had three more technicians. Are you still with me? Three more technicians that were burned alive. Yes. They were burned alive by the dolls. Those dolls were the ones that had like sort of the white face, I believe, and they basically had burned them alive. Then you had a technician who was suffocated with the plastic wrap and they were by the suffocators. That's right. They came, they saw, they suffocated, and that was all she wrote. Then you have the mutant in a hospital gown. I love that. Uh, he was shot in the head uh, with the handgun and that was by Marty. Now remember Marty was supposed to be the jokester. He was supposed to be the Joker's wild in this uh, and he happened to live because all the weed that he was smoking 
basically opened his mind and gave him insight into what was happening before anyone knew what was happening. So kudos to you, Marty. Uh, then you had another technician uh, that was grabbed by a genre monster uh, through the wall. I think it was just a regular monster that came through the wall and basically he was killed off screen. Uh, and that was, I think, no, actually, I think it was a dragon bat. I think the dragon bat got him. Then you had another technician with his neck bitten. That was by the werewolf. I mean, you know, he needed to get some more food. Another technician that was stabbed in the stomach, and that was by the clowns. I love me a good clown stabbing. Why? Because this clown, unfortunately, was scary and bent out of all shape. You know, he did sort of this jittery movement, you know. <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh, it's Krusty the Clown times 10, uh, but a nightmare Krusty the Clown. And we loved it so much. There was also a female security officer, keep up with me, uh, stabbed with a knife by more clowns. That's right. With another technician stabbed twice in the stomach by the horn with the unicorn. I mean... No Harry Potter magic, nothing that basically tells you, oh, look how innocent this unicorn is, my little pony. No, this unicorn was stuffed in basically in this box, this Rubik cube box, nowhere to go. And he was letting out some pent up anger. Yeah, I don't blame you, unicorn. But anyway, he got that technician twice in the stomach with the horn. Then we have Wendy. Wendy, we love you and Angel. I mean, of course, you were awesome. Uh, but sorry, the Kraken got you. We thought for sure that you were going to make it or at least go down the underground. But no, sorry, the Kraken came through the ceiling, picked her up. She's gone. Bye-bye, Wendy. Uh, then we have Gary. You know, unfortunately, Gary was sort of knifed, you know? He was knifed by uh, Dana. Dana, you know, tried to get out from the underground and she didn't know. I mean, of course, you're in this underground cave and you see a shadow that's running towards you. You got your knife out, your rigid survival of the fittest. And then boom, he just happened to turn the corner and he got knifed by Dana. So kudos to you, Dana, because hey, if she wasn't going to do it, I'm pretty sure something else was. And my favorite was the merman. Yes, the merman. Yes, Steve always wanted to see a merman. Well, the merman appeared and the merman basically bit him, tore him to shreds and sort of did sort of a blowhole of blood. And that was pretty awesome in itself. And then we have the director killed by Patience Buckner, of course, and Marty. That's right, sort of that duo effect because, you know, Marty was trying to get in front of Patience, you know, to watch out, and then Patience got her. So it was this whole rigmarole of let's just kill the director. And I love her cameo. Everyone loves her cameo because it was fun. It was evil and it was awesome. I'm surprised that writers didn't give like an alien to kill her, you know, because that would have been so apropos, but eh. They gave her another death and that was fine. Then we have Patience Buckner speaking of. That's right, she fell into the chasm. She was kicked off by Marty. Marty's like, that's right, no more Buckners here. So she gets killed there. And then of course, Marty, Dana, and then 6.6 .6 billion people on the planet get killed by the ancient ones. Why? They just, you know, followed through with the plan. So they were crushed by the collapsing temple. And then of course, the ancient ones rise and then everyone else in the world are dead. So unfortunately the Japanese uh, market, even though they won their market, they're gonna die from the ancient ones. Scandinavians, they're gonna die. The Spanish market, they're gonna die. I mean, all these places that you were seeing inside of Cabin in the Woods that were like, oh yay, look at us, a perfect record with us. Nope, sorry, take it like the Americans. So basically it was the Americans who messed up the world so it's so apropos but anyway these are the kill counts make sure that you go and check out the cabin in the woods i'm pretty sure there's some that i missed but these are some of the best ones that i really enjoyed so what are some of your favorite kill counts in the cabin in the woods drop down that comment down below make sure that you subscribe like and share and i hope to hear from you soon take care guys i'm karshina with first films productions and I'll see you on the next round of Kill Counts. Take care.